Hello, my name is Hussein Mahdavian. In this tutorial, I want to teach you how to make this space hole. It is very easy to make, so stay with me until the end of this video. To start, I will create a new composition. I choose its size 1080 and 1080 and black color. I will also change the name of the composition to space. We need a background. I create a solid. I will change its name to background. Search for the gradient ramp effect in the effects and presets panel and place it on this layer. In the ramp shape section, select the radial ramp option. I want the gradient to be circular. Place this point in the middle of the screen. I want to make the end color blue. Choose the blue color you want. Select the red for the start color. Now I want to increase the size of the red color. Select this point and move it to the right. Now we made a gradient background with a combination of blue and red color. Create another solid. And search for the particle word effect. And place it on the new layer. If I move the CTI, such a particle is created. We don't need the first parts of the particle. And we can delete it. Zoom in on the timeline. For example, from here, hit Alt Open Bracket and these first parts will be removed. And I move this layer like this and place it at the beginning. There are many settings in the effects control section. I suggest you write down these settings and do like me. Set the birth rate to 0.5. Longevity to 5. Open the producer section and set the radius X to 1, radius Y to 1, and radius Z to 20. If you want to delete this grid, open the grid section and uncheck the grid option. Open the physics section. Set the velocity to zero and also gravity to zero. Open the particle section, set the main opacity value to 100 and I choose white for birth color and death color. We have made something like this so far. Now I will add another effect called Glow. You can adjust the Glow setting as desired. For example, I set the radius to 23 and the intensity to 2. I take a duplicate of this layer with Ctrl D. And I set the birth rate to 1.5. Open the particle section and set this particle type to faded sphere. I set the birth size to 0.1 and depth size to 0.05. We have made something like this so far. Now it's time to animate the camera. From the layer menu, new, Select camera. Set its name as desired. Select one node camera from the type section and choose 35 mm camera and click OK. Hit P to create the position keyframe. We need to animate the Z axis of the camera. 
I set this number to minus 12,000. Click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move the CTI to second 11 and change this number to 22,000. You can see that we were able to animate this space hold so beautifully. We can also add rotation to the camera. Hit R. Create a keyframe for Z rotation. Hit U to see only these keyframes. Move the CTI to second 11 and change this number to 1. It means the camera will rotate once. Like this. You see? I select these two keyframes and make them easy ease with F9. Open the graph editor, select these two keyframes, and it will adjust the speed curve like this. If you hold shift, this curve will move left or right in the place. Now if I play the animation from the beginning, you will see that we were able to create it so beautifully. You can increase the brightness of this space hole. For this, create an adjustment layer. Apply the glow effect to this new layer. Adjust its settings to your liking. We can use another effect on this layer. Search for unsharp mask and place it on this layer. And adjust its setting as desired. If you feel that the number of these stars is too high, click on this layer and reduce the number of birth rate. For example, 0.1. You can see that the number of stars decreased. This number is completely arbitrary and you can enter any number you like. For example, I choose the number 0.3. And in this way, we were able to create this space hole so beautifully. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Thanks for watching.